So I'm starting with a product I already regret using. This is the On The Glow Stick from Pixi. This is a very heavy hydrating moisturizer or balm, I guess. Um, this is perfect to add to your skincare routine because it will keep you hydrated, but do not use this under your makeup. And on top of that, I used another moisturizer. So all this did was make my pores so big. It looked so awful with my foundation. You'll see in the next clip. So. I would definitely skip this part and I normally gravitate towards pore minimizing primers but I just had to try this today because my skin was dry that day and I just wanted it to look very healthy and glowy but that does not work on people who have big pores like me. So for my foundation I'm using a L'Oreal True Match and to blend that I'm using my Real Techniques sponge. And for my concealer, I'm also using the True Match Super Blendable Multi-Use Concealer. And the shade is called Fair, which is W1-2. That's what it says online in case anyone is wondering. And for the foundation, I used C4, which is Shell Beige. And to blend the concealer, I'm still using the Damp Sponge from Real Techniques. And to set my concealer, I'm using this Nude Rose Palette from BH Cosmetics. I couldn't find this online anymore. I found it on Amazon, but I'm not sure if they discontinued it because it was not on their website. But this palette has everything in there. It has the setting powder, it has the contour, the blush, the glow, everything you need is in there. So right now I'm just setting under my eyes. And then for the rest of the face, I'm using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. I'm using the shade 725, which is called Buff Beige. Then I'm going back to that BH palette and using a matte bronzer to contour my face. And I'm also going to use that shade to contour my nose. And I can't tell you guys enough how much I love these kind of brushes to contour my nose. I haven't looked back ever since I started using brushes like these. It's a, they're very narrow. Um, if I can't find these online, well these are from Morphe, but if they don't sell them anymore, I'm going to show you guys similar brushes to that. So I will either post it on here or in the description box. Next, I'm filling in my eyebrows with this brow pencil from CoverGirl. This is literally the only thing I use when I get ready now. So I can definitely say this is my go-to eyebrow product. I don't want to keep calling it a pencil because it's not a pencil, so eyebrow product. I highly recommend this. Now moving on to the eyeshadow, I had few palettes to choose from but I ended up using the Paradise palette from L'Oreal. I really wanted to try this because the colors were beautiful. So the first shade I'm using is this light brown shade and that's going on my crease. Um, and I've noticed with these eyeshadows, the colors are beautiful, they blend beautifully but they were very powdery. So a lot of product came out when I was dipping my brush in there. So that's the only thing I wish the palette didn't do but other than that all the shades are beautiful Next, I'm using my favorite liquid eyeliner from the drugstore. This one's from NYX. It's very black and it dries into a matte finish. I love this product so much. I've gone through so many of these and I will choose this over any high-end liquid eyeliner. So if you haven't tried this one out, you should get in your car right now and go to Ulta and grab yourself one or whatever they sell NYX. But I get mine from Ulta. It's very affordable and it's so easy to use. And now I'm using my Revlon mascara and I'm applying some on my upper lashes and lower lashes and then I'm gonna apply my false lashes. Actually, I'm going back to the palette and I'm gonna use that shade in there and apply that on my lower lashes because you can't forget 
eyeshadow on your lower lashes. I just can't explain it. It just puts the whole look together. And the lashes I'm using today are these ones from KISS. These are in number 01. This is my first time trying these. I normally get the number 11, but this was my first time seeing these. They stood out. They looked so dark and so full. And I'm so glad I grabbed them because they look so beautiful. Alright, and now moving on to the highlight. I'm using this highlighting palette from Flower Beauty. And these highlighters are very intense and I kind of put way too much. So my pores, again, they were just having a very bad day. My poor pores. And the blush I'm using is also from Flower Beauty. And I always get these confused with the Milani ones because the packaging is literally the same with the whole flower and the pot situation. And I'm not sure what shade this is, but I will link it down below. And the lip liner I'm using is from LA Girl Cosmetics. This one's called Flesh. And you already know the drill. I'm going to overline my lips a little bit or maybe a lot. But this is what I'm using. And the lipstick I'm using is this beautiful matte nude shade from L'Oreal, and this is in number 978. And over that lipstick, I'm going to use a lighter nude on the center of my lips. I'm using a liquid lipstick from uh, Flower Beauty, and this one is called Almost Nude. I kind of want to do a one brand makeup tutorial using only Flower Beauty Cosmetics because they have some of the nicest things on there. Uh, so let me know if you would like to see that. Next, I'm lining my waterline with this black eyeliner from Pixi. This one reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On because it's really black. It glides on and it stays on all day. And then the last thing I'm doing is setting my makeup. I'm using the Glow Mist from Pixi, and this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this, and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.